Hello my dear friends, I'm Ksenia, welcome to my channel St. Petersburg Me and yes you got that right, one of my friends got a conscription letter from the military office last week and frankly speaking I was going to tell you about it uh, in my last video but in this case uh, the video would be very long so we decided to make two separate videos about the life in St. Petersburg during mobilization and about uh, this case. So, my dear friends, I will tell you his story. One of my friends got this draft notification letter. Um, so, this is a friend uh, of mine, uh, not a very close friend, but I know him in person. And we were communicating uh, for many times, you know. Uh, so it, so it's not uh, a person whom I follow on, uh, you know, the media, social media, which is prohibited in Russia, you know, let's call it, I don't know, prohibigram. So it's not like that. So I know this person in person. Uh, so he got this uh, draft notification letter from military office. Uh, however, however, my friend has quite a serious... Um, uh, health condition which uh, will not allow him to go to such events to such you know things like um, battlefield so he has something like I don't know what it's called in uh, English in Russian we call it uh, we call it uh, gemophilia uh, so this is the uh, condition where uh, every every scratch every like major trauma can lead to blood uh, uh, blood which cannot be stopped for example like blooding that cannot be stopped after he got this letter he needed to go to this military office to formalize some documents as they call it uh, so before doing that he went to his doctor he went to his clinic and he um, uh, he took a, a certificate or what like the paper that uh, states that he has a serious medical condition uh, which um, prohibits taking him to the battlefield so he got his uh, this certificate and only then went to this uh, military office and as he told told me um, he was released so after he um, gave this paper to um, those officers he was just released you know uh, so uh, uh, this the, his story so uh, this military office uh, was overcrowded there was a line of men lining up to formalize those things you know um, and he said like that maybe 70 or 80 percent of uh, men from that particular uh, line were released but 30 maybe 20 30 percent were given the tickets uh, to be mobilized, you know, and uh, he said that uh, some of people, some of mobilized people were taken at once to, uh, to for mobilization and some uh, of the people uh, were released home for two days uh, to say goodbye to their children because he, uh, though the, those people had children and um, so this is his story and he's told that that military office was overcrowded and uh, um, the line it took him about three hours to make uh, those uh, documents like uh, formalized you know so this is his story I understand that my friend is only one of hundreds and thousands of other people who get mobilized who are uh, like uh, stalked, stalked uh, on the streets, uh, and uh, and uh, um, you all heard the, that stories. Why um, does uh, that particular office 
releases people maybe because it's in St. Petersburg and you know it's uh, easier to uh, actually uh, get justice when you um, live in a big city and in a, in the center of uh, like of um, the country because you know uh, Russia is very centralized country and Moscow and St. Petersburg are considered to be like the centers of uh, our country and uh, when you live in a big center in a centralized country it's uh, easier for you to get like justice to get people who infringe some rules or laws like uh, um, to get those people um, you know like don't do that don't do that i don't know how you call it in english so uh, it's it's more easier to um, to get justice when you live in big cities, especially if you live in Russia and post-Soviet countries. Because of course, if you live uh, somewhere in a small town in Siberia, of course nobody will even look uh, on your like uh, uh, clinic documents saying that you are not uh, the subject to mobilization. Of course, this is the reality of Russia and this is quite sad. And you know what, my dear friends, YouTube Analytics has been telling me recently that most of you, almost 72% watch my videos without subscription. So my dear friend, please take only one second to click that subscribe button and believe me, that will help our community of sane people to grow. Thank you. So my dear friends, this is my friend's story and of course his story is only one story out of a uh, uh, hundred thousand or even more other stories which are not so, you know, lucky and not so good. And uh, another friend of mine also told me that um, from his work two people got mobilized so he works here in St. Petersburg he lives in St. Petersburg and uh, um, he works at a small factory which produces some things uh, and he works at a designing and engineering apartment and those people who got mobilized from his work were from like uh, workshops department they were producing those things that my friend uh, is engineering and uh, you know in my last video there were uh, several people who were gloating about oh and what will you do what will you think when your brother or father uh, will be mobilized you know my brother lives in Belarus yes and um, you know recently um, I heard that they uh, began amending laws about mobilization and I don't know if that information is true but you know if that is true and if somebody is amending laws about mobilization then you know maybe it will happen and of course I'm um, very much uh, concerned about my brother and worried about my brother you know um, unfortunately he is the person uh, who will not be able to leave uh, according to several reasons and first reason is that uh, he doesn't have any savings you know he will not be able to leave just because he don't have money uh, doesn't have money for it I'm really scared because you know uh, my brother works uh, at a company or organization that is run by the state, by the Belarusian state. So he lives in a small town and they don't have other jobs, places available right now. Because you know sometimes people uh, are waiting for their jobs, for the openings for a year or more. Um, they got um, the jobs when uh, one of the persons retire. The situation is of course not good. Uh, it uh, escalates apparently and obviously it escalates and unfortunately my brother will not be able to leave just because he's afraid that um, um, his family will be affected 
if he would leave because you know in Belarus laws are more strict than they are in Russia for example now or in Russia we don't have any criminal cases um, for those people who left you know who um, trying to escape mobilization but you know Belarus is uh, still another country and their laws are different so we don't know what will be next I just I just don't know what to think you know just I just um, tell to myself like Xenia get calm Xenia just calm a little bit just relax <sighs> yeah that's the way it is my dear friends that's the story goes that is the the situation of course nothing is going good and of course if I told you in my last video that uh, St. Petersburg vibe uh, seems to be normal it doesn't mean that it is normal of course because to seem and to be are quite different things you know so my dear friends that is all for today and thank you for being with me thank you for sharing my videos and please subscribe to my channel um, and give this video a like leave a comment and see you in the next video bye